Hello and welcome to VegasInsider.com. I'm Toby Matson smith and we're going to be looking at some bets from a fascinating looking final day of the English Premier League season. We've got top four and relegation to sort out, so let's begin with top four, where Leicester play Manchester United in really a winner-takes-all clash. Man United only need a draw, Leicester probably need to win to get into the Champions League next year. Next year. However, I'm pretty confident to go with Man United here. They're 6-5, to five and for the last few months, they've just been a much better team than Leicester. Leicester really have been a mid-table side for most of 2020. Battered 3-0 by Tottenham last time out, 4-1 at Bournemouth. United, on the other hand, not great form recently, but real improvement since the restart. A lot of goals, really good, settled team. And I think they've got the pace on the counter-attack to really hurt Leicester if Leicester have to go for it at the end, needing a goal. So Man United, 6-5, to five, I think is a pretty fair bet. The other game in the top four race is Chelsea against Wolves. Now Chelsea only need a draw to qualify for the Champions League, and I think that's what they're going to get. 14-5 to five seems a really big price here on a draw. Wolves have drawn more games than anyone else in the Premier League, 14 matches. And... A draw might also be okay for Wolves, given that they're in a race for the Europa League, and unless uh, Tottenham win at Crystal Palace, one point would be enough for Wolves too. Wolves games often very cagey, low scoring, very often nil-nil at half time as well. Um, Chelsea not great defensively, but maybe if they play five at the back, can tighten up, bring out, bring in uh, Willy Caballero in goal instead of Kepa might help as well. I think a draw would probably end up suiting both teams, and that's what I'll be going for. Now, on the relegation battle, Everton against Bournemouth. Bournemouth need to win and hope that both Watford and Aston Villa lose. It's very unlikely, and Everton at 6-5 to five to win this game represents pretty good value for me. Bournemouth have only won three times in 2020. All of them have been at home. They've been pretty awful for most of the season, really. And... You know, they're 21 to 10 to win this game. It's just too short for a team that's really not used to winning games. Everton, traditionally a pretty good team at home, particularly under Carlo Ancelotti. Again, very good attackers in Richarlison and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. They'll want to end the, get, end the season on a high. And I just think, you know, six to five, big gulf in quality between the two teams. Everton for me. And I think Bournemouth might go down with a bit of a whimper. Finally, we've got West Ham United against Aston Villa. Now, Villa are in an odd position. They are just about ahead of Watford on goal difference. So they could win and go down, but they could also lose and stay up. It all depends what happens here and when Watford play Arsenal. But that said, again, similar to the Everton-Bournemouth game, just because Aston Villa need a result here, it doesn't necessarily mean they will. And West Ham at 21 to 10... 21 to 10 to win this game looks really good value. They've been very good in the last few weeks. Two will draw at Manchester United in the week, beat Chelsea, beat Watford. Declan Rice in fantastic form. Thomas Socek in the midfield doing really well for the Hammers. And, you know, Villa, maybe a draw or even a defeat, and they might still stay up. But West Ham, again, just a much better team and shouldn't really be outsiders here, particularly given the form they're in. Thank you very much. Good luck with your bets.